I'm just gonna say it, stop driving randomly. Now, a lot of people ask me, what's the best way to make the most amount of money driving for Uber and Lyft? I've done tons of videos about this. I've interviewed a lot of drivers and I've actually figured out one huge difference between the drivers who make a ton of money and the drivers who don't. Now, I do wanna say as a quick side note, and I've mentioned this in tons of videos, probably more than half. Remember, unfortunately, your location is the number one factor that determines how much money you can make as a driver. Even if you're the best rider driver of all time, if you're in a bad area, there's only kind of a certain amount that you can truly make. And this is kind of unfortunate, right? Because if you're watching this video, you're like, well, I'm not gonna move, right, to drive for Uber or Lyft. Although I know some drivers do do that. They move to like a bigger city or to a different state to make more money. But I want to figure out, okay, if let's say you're stuck where you are, and for most people, let's be honest, you know, your location is in a sense out of your control, how can you make the most amount of money? For people who live in the same area, what is the biggest difference? And I realized it's one huge thing. And that is drivers who don't make that much money typically drive randomly. Those who do make a lot of money drive strategically. That is the short answer. And I wanted to talk about this because I've met a lot of drivers. Like I said, I've done so many videos. I get hundreds, if not thousands of comments on this channel and all, on all these videos. I've talked to so many drivers, both offline and online and everything. I mean, it's been a lot of unique information I've kind of digested and reviewed doing all these videos. And I've read over a hundred articles, at least hundreds of articles about hourly rates, how to make more money, you know, different legal stuff with ride you're driving, et cetera, et cetera. And like I said, the biggest thing is this, with I've noticed, again, in the same location, the biggest way between a driver who, I'm gonna say doesn't make it and a driver who makes it, or a driver who doesn't make that much money and a driver who does, is the driver who does focuses very strategically on when and how they drive. This is by far the best way to make a lot of money. Now, I have done so many videos going in depth on this about different strategies and whatnot. So right now I'm giving more of a theory type video, so to speak, doing some Uber and Lyft theory, which is, sounds kind of cheesy, but you get what I'm saying. And when it comes to the strategy or the strategic way to drive, the biggest thing in my opinion is two. One is the timing of your driving in terms of the peak hours. And the second is focusing on bonuses. Now, like I've mentioned in a lot of other videos, especially recently, I've noticed a very unique spread, very similar in a, in a uh, ironic way to what's going on in the economy when it comes to ride share drivers. I find about 25% of drivers make a good amount of money driving, but 75% of drivers hate driving and they don't make that much money at all. It's very interesting because if you look at what's going on in the economy right now, the middle class is shrinking and now it's almost getting more polarizing. You either have the super lower class and then the super upper class, and it's getting more and more polarizing. I've noticed the same things, the same things that's been going on with ride or driving. And what's interesting is back in the day, you could just kind of drive whenever in a sense. You drive, you make money, people were getting paid way more back in the day. However, I've talked to a lot of drivers recently who have said to me, Mark, I'm making more money now than ever before. And to a lot of drivers, that seems fake. It seems ludicrous and almost seems too good to be true. But that that is the case for a lot of drivers. They're making more money right now. And like I said, with this polarizing aspect happening, 25% of drivers are making more money than ever before and crushing it. 75% of drivers are hating Lyft and Uber and just being like, look, I'm not making that much money as before et cetera, et cetera. And this is the big thing that I've noticed when it comes to interviewing all these drivers, like I said, looking at the same location is that the people who make a ton of money focus on the timing of when they drive and the bonuses. So, so let's get into that. Now, for most people, this is kind of like Uber and Lyft 101, but I do want to mention it. When it comes to driving in the optimal hours, you're looking at the morning and evening commutes, Friday and Saturday nights. To give some timestamps, morning commutes, you're looking at about 7 to 9 a.m., evening commutes, 5 to 7 p.m., Friday and Saturday nights, looking at, let's say 9 or 10 p.m. till about 3 a.m. for Friday and Saturday nights. However, there are other optimal times to drive. And this is going now more in depth into this, as I've noticed that people who make a ton of money driving are also very strategic of like, okay, 
yeah, I know that I can make a good amount of money on a Friday night. Everybody knows that as a driver. But what about what I like to call the pregame hours? I've noticed that sometimes from 7 to 9 or 10 p.m., I can sometimes make more money. And this is, like I said, what I, what I like to call the pregame hours is people are not going out, but they're getting ready to go out. Now, all of this, and I've mentioned this before in a few other videos, all of this are things I've tracked. I used to, when I first started driving, I used to track on a spreadsheet, this is the former accountant and me, when the best times to drive were. And I realized, wow, you know, sometimes 7 or 8 p.m. on a Friday or 7, 8 p.m. on a Saturday can actually pay more than midnight or 1 a.m. on a Friday or Saturday night or Saturday or Sunday morning. I would have not realized that if I didn't track it. So I started analyzing every single time I drove, is this an optimal hour to drive or not? Yes, morning, evening commutes, Friday and Saturday nights, everyone knows that's the case. But I started to realize, wow, sometimes a Saturday morning, I'm talking like 9 or 10 a.m. on a Saturday, which seems very random, pays more than a Friday night. Saturday and Sunday mornings, or like sometimes during the day, if people are doing Sunday fun days, if they're driving back or heading back from their friend's place because they crashed the night there the night before, that can be sometimes a higher surge and that can make more money. Another thing, and I will say I've never done this, but I've heard this from a lot of drivers. I just, this sounds horrible to me, but I get it, is starting driving at 4 a.m. I've done this, uh, did an entire video about this as a pro tip, that you start driving at like say 4 a.m. And I know some drivers who are like, yeah, I do 4 a.m. till let's say 9 or 10 a.m. So they kind of do the super, super early morning shift from four. They drive to like nine or 10. So they also hit that morning commute. They're done for the day. They drive for six hours. They're like, hey, that's all I got to do. Now, all these are different things that I've noticed a lot of drivers have tracked and analyzed. And I've talked to a lot of drivers on the flip side who hate driving for an Uber, who just do it because they need the money or whatever. They're trying to make side cash and who just hate Uber and Lyft with a passion, when I ask them like, oh, so when do you drive? How do you drive? And I ask them these kind of more technical questions. They're usually like, I don't know. I just turn on the app when I feel like it or when I'm free and I turn it off. I drive this time, this time or whatever. So they kind of drive aimlessly. They drive randomly without looking at and analyzing, okay, am I actually making more on a Friday night or in my area? Am I better off driving on a Saturday morning? It, that could be the case. And then you start thinking more strategically. So this is the first thing I've noticed when it comes to a lot of drivers, of people who make it or don't, or people who make a lot of money and people who don't, is they're very strategic on the time when they drive and they do analyze over time, but I guess maybe bad word, but they analyze over the, the period of them driving. They start to realize when the most optimal times to drive are and start focusing and honing in on those times. The second thing, is the bonuses. I know I know the bonuses go up and down, especially with both Uber and Lyft. So a huge pro tip as like a side or sub pro tip, make sure you sign up with both apps. This still blows my mind when I talk to a lot of drivers who are like, oh man, I hate driving for Uber. Like there's no bonuses, like blah, blah. And I'm like, oh yeah, I get that. Maybe in your area, Uber is not the best with bonuses, but what about Lyft? And they're like, eh, I don't know. I never really thought about Lyft. Like Uber's whatever. Remember, both apps have different pros and cons, and especially in your area, certain apps will have different bonus structures, and even on different weekends during the week, it can go back and forth. I suggest to a lot of drivers, always check both apps, because you never know, on a random weekend, Lyft could have some crazy bonus that this one weekend, you do a certain amount of rides, you get a huge lump sum. Uber could have some big thing on a weekend where they're like, hey, it's a 1.5x surge for the next eight hours. I don't know. So the, the bonuses can go back and forth. And this is the second big thing I've noticed between drivers of people who make a ton of money and those who don't is just overall, the drivers who make a ton of money really focus on those bonuses. And they combine these two techniques too. They kind of compound them. Not only are they driving in the most optimal times to drive because they've done their research, they've you know strategized, so to speak, of what they figured out to be the best time to drive, but then when they do drive, they make sure to study all the bonus structures. All of the big drivers that I've talked to who make a good hourly rate, I'm talking 30, even $40 an hour on average, all these drivers that I've talked to, almost always, even without me asking, will say something like, yeah, I'm not gonna lie by the way, but when it comes to the bonuses, here's my technique, here's my bonus hack, so to speak. And they've developed their own tricks to optimize the amount of money they can extract or get from these bonuses. You know, I've mentioned this before. I've talked to drivers in Nashville who are making about seven or eight hundred dollars, like say on a Friday or Saturday. I talked to one driver, for example, in Austin, Texas, who's making six figures. 
And when it comes to all these drivers, th those are just two examples. I was talking, for example, to my brother who's driving for Lyft in Colorado. He's making on average about 40-ish dollars an hour. All these drivers that I talk to from all over the country, they're making good amounts of money. When I bring up the bonus, always stress that they have all these techniques or hacks or strategies to get the most out of that bonus. And I think for a lot of other drivers who let's say who don't make that much money, when I ask them about the bonuses, they're like, yeah, the bonuses are whatever. Or, oh yeah, I know they get a bonus, but it seems like it seems like they uh, they get the bonus just randomly. It just pops up out of nowhere. And they're like, oh wow, this is a great bonus. And it's like, okay, that's the worst way to go about it. Because if you just stumble upon the bonus, Great, right? Nothing wrong with that. But you should be going into every single time you drive. I know it sounds kind of maybe I don't use the word intense, but maybe very specific. But in my mind, every single time when I drive, and I say this to a lot of drivers, you should not just be randomly going into it. You should think, okay, one, is this a good time to drive or not? Have I done the research from driving experience to know if it's a good time to drive or not? The second thing, have I studied the bonuses before I even turn on the app in terms of saying I'm active and ready to drive. Have you studied all this kind of stuff? I know it seems kind of random to kind of be like very specific and very like attentive and very direct and deliberate about when you drive. But I gotta be honest, when I've meta analyzed, when I've meta analyzed all these drivers from comments, talking offline and online and just seeing all these different things, when it comes to people in the same location, cause remember, unfortunately your location is the number one factor that determines how much money you can make. When it comes to drivers in the same location, the biggest difference is the drivers overall will make a ton of money are very deliberate and methodical about when and how they drive. That's the biggest thing. So if you're looking to make more money, and it's more of like a theory type thing, I have done a bunch of very technical videos about making more money, but when it comes to this video, I just wanna say that when it comes to the people who make the most amount of money, and those who don't, if you wanna make more money driving, be very deliberate, strategic, and analytical about when and how you drive.